Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's doing really well out there today. Here recently, the folks over at Anchor reached out and asked if they could sponsor some content on my channel to help me fix a problem that I'm not sure they knew that I had. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Anchor KVM switch with dual 4K for desktops and laptops. Okay, so this is the box, but if we flip it over, since there's not really much going on here other than Anchor and the world's number one mobile charging brand and five, series five, uh, there's nothing else there really uh, any on the box except on the back uh, right here and it says anchor 553 USB-C docking station and KVM switch and then the rest of it is just kind of general marketing material and stuff that they have to do for legal reasons so let's go ahead and flip this back over and open the box so of course this is the main star of the show here but we're gonna set that aside for just a moment so we can see what else is in the box and I'm gonna take this out of there and then we're gonna go ahead and dump it all out. So first things first, uh, this is of course the power brick for it. It is 20 volts, five amps, 100 watts. So this is going to give us the chance to not only power our KVM switch, but also charge a laptop or a cell phone or something like that and do it very well. Of course, they are known for their charging products. So here is the power brick for that. Again, 20 volts, five amps, 100 watts for our device or devices as it may be. Power cable here that's gonna go into the power brick. Here is our USB-A to USB-C. We've also got an HDMI cable here. We've also got uh, a display port cable there. So we can connect that as well. And this is just a USB-C to USB-C cable. Okay, so here is the star of the show and I wanna make sure I get this at just the right angle so that we don't uh, get a whole lot of glare like that. So basically, if we start right here, we've got a USB-C port. This is a 3.0 port. Uh, of course, you can see that's blue. And this one is also a USB 3.0 port, but it is type A. For some reason, this is a USB-C or USB 3.0 port, but it is not blue. Uh, that confused me for a moment. And then we've got a USB 2.0 port for mouse, keyboard, that sort of thing. And then little button. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but we're going to find out. And then over here on the side, of course, we've got a uh, headphone jack so that we can plug headphones or speakers or whatever right into that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back here just real quick as well. Okay. So again, trying very hard to not get a whole lot of glare like that so we can see what's going on. So right here, we've got our two monitor outs. We've got a display port out and an HDMI out. Uh, both of these should support 10 or 4K 60 Hertz. Of course, that's going to depend on your input as well, but up to 4K 60. Uh, we've also got for, uh, this is gonna be PC too, so maybe like your main PC here. Again, we've got HDMI and DisplayPort in right here, as well as uh, USB-C for connecting your, your, your accessories, your mouse, your keyboard, that sort of thing. Everything that's plugged into the front of the device will connect to your computer through this. And then if you've got a laptop or something with it also supports full function USB-C, including power delivery, you can use this to, to connect one cable to say your laptop and have access to all of the different peripherals that we've got plugged in here and over on the side uh, just with one simple cable for your device that you would use on the go there and of course right over here uh, we've got we've got this just a little button right here and it says pc1 and pc2 i'm guessing that depending on which pc is active these will light up uh, but we're going to find that out it'd be kind of a shame if it didn't i know that's real hard to read but pc1 pc2 and a nice little tactile button there in the middle uh, and not much else going on there. Okay, so now that we've kind of done the unboxing, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this hooked up. Uh, I'll show it all hooked up obviously and talk about what I'm doing here, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this hooked up so we can take a look and see just how slick this device really is. Okay, so here we are just a few minutes later and on the front, like right here, this USB-C cable is actually going over to that camera right there. So that way I can share that camera between my devices. This is my keyboard, which is right over here. It's a little dusty, but it works really well and I love it. Of course, I got my mouse plugged in right there. That's just where it always is because my mouse is right there and you really can't be that level of latency. So on the back, this cable right here, this is USB-C that plugs in to the USB-A port on the front of my device. This is how I'm going to connect my mouse and keyboard and my everything to this device is just through this cable right here. And of course that is that cable on PC too. Over here, I've got a display uh, out and an HDMI out that go from here to my two monitors. 
And then these, nope, I lied. These actually go from my computer. There we go. So th these two lines come into my, from my computer. These two lines actually go out to the monitors. I apologize for misspeaking there. If we look right over here, I was right. This lights up, that says PC2. If I click it, now it says PC1. And of course, because I don't have anything else hooked up, I got nothing there. And even my camera's like, hey, what's going on? Grab my laptop. This is a tuxedo computer laptop. And right over here on the side, it may be hard to see in this light, but there's a full function USB-C port right there. And that is gonna get plugged in to, uh, to this port right here. If everything goes well, if I plug this in, it should light up telling us that it's charging. And look at that. Now we're charging this laptop from this KVM. So that's super exciting. And because this is a full function USB-C port, uh, I should be able to open this up, touch that button and get both of these to dis displays right here to be whatever is on here. Okay, so here comes the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and push our button. Like so, and then while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and push that button right there. So that now says PC1 and all of my laptop stuff should start coming up over here in just a moment. So we've got our tuxedo boot screen there. Stuff is happening. So we've got this, those, both of those screens flickered. So I'm gonna go ahead. I've just got touch ID on here. That's welcome. Okay, so this is that same keyboard, right? I'm touching this and this is happening. So I think what I need to do is adjust my monitor settings. So uh, we've got we've got our, our mouse and our keyboard and this is this is the same mouse that is plugged in to this keyboard that was sitting over there that's plugged into there right so there's this and hey look now we've got all of our monitors going over here now the one thing i will say is i do need to obviously uh, change some of this so let's do this real quick we're going to extend outstanding so it is actually now recognizing both of these displays as 4K displays. If we actually come over to here, let's select number three there and right there, there's our 4K. And again, same thing, uh, if I select screen number two, right there is our 4K display. And then our laptop, it is only a 1080p display. So nothing I can do about that, but we are getting all three displays, all coming from this KVM right here from Anchor. And again, if I want to go back to my little minis forum PC right here, I can come right over here, push that button and give it a second. And there we go. Now we're back to our mini PC on these two 4K displays. Now th this is no longer being controlled, right? If I do this, it's happening here, but it's not happening here because we've switched from one PC to the other. And again, just as quickly as I can press that button, and there we go. Within just a couple of seconds, we've switched from, from the mini PC back over to the laptop with seriously just the push of a button. One other really quick thing that I wanted to touch on, I said we would and I forgot to almost, this button right here, it's just a power button. That's all it does, it's just a power button. I thought maybe it was gonna be a toggle button, but that's over here. And what's cool about this, and I know I've got all of this uh, kind of bundled up still, but we can tuck all of this away and have this have this remote right here where we're gonna need it. So it's super, super convenient to get to. So let me go ahead and get all of this nonsense kind of cleaned up so we can see what it'll actually look like on my desk. And here we are just a few minutes later and I've got the Anchor KVM switch right here on top of my audio interface. I've got my mouse and keyboard plugged in here. Again, the mouse is plugged in right there in the keyboard. This cable right here, goes to my Insta360 right there. I've got speakers over here that of course are one there and uh, one right there. So what we're getting here is actually the ability to share five devices between two computers, right? So we've got four USB ports here. And of course, if you've got something like this, maybe you can even get away with six, but so we've got four USB ports that we can share as well as an audio interface. Again, like those speakers right there. We've got our full function USB-C that plugs into the back of here that goes clear over to this laptop right there. There's that cable, it wasn't trying to hide it, um, but that is how we're connected from this laptop to here to those two screens. Again, both of these rendering flawlessly at 4K. And again, if I wanna go back over here to this mini forums PC right there, just click, bang, just like that, PC2. Now we're back on the minis forum 
and right there are our desktops. Okay guys, there you go. There is the Anchor KVM switch with dual 4K for desktops and laptops. And I would love to know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. And of course, if you wanna pick one up for yourself or just want more information, you can find all of that in the description of this video. I wanna thank Anchor for sponsoring this video and giving me a chance to check it out and share it with you guys. But I think with all of that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I wanna thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video.